and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi, I'm Amy, nice to meet you. In today's video I'm going to be trying out a personalised fashion slash clothing subscription box which is actually available here in Australia. It's called Threadicated. I was so excited when I found out about them. If you're from another country, unfortunately these guys only ship to Australia, but if you're like me and has been wishing Australia had something like this for ages, then this video is for you. If you're interested in getting a Threadicated Starbucks as well, here's how it works. Set up an account on their website, which I've linked in the description box below. Then create your style profile by answering a few questions about your fit and style preferences. Set the price that is right for your lifestyle and then request a parcel. You pay a 59 Australian dollar styling fee for each shipment, but then returns and shipping is free. Your stylist will then send you five pieces that will suit your lifestyle, fit and budget. Once the parcel arrives, you have three days to try on all the pieces and decide which you want to keep. The cost of the items is held on your card prior to shipment, but you will only be charged for the items you decide to keep. Not ideal, but since it's our only option in Australia, we can't be too picky. A prepaid returns envelope is always included in your package, so returns are super easy. Even though I call it a subscription box, you can order a parcel as often or as little as you want. You can sign up for automatic deliveries or just do once-offs every now and then. No subscription necessary. I had a little bit of trouble filling out the style quiz on my phone and had to finish it off on my computer, so be aware of that. It was also not clear that my parcel request went through as it said no orders requested yet in the orders section of my profile until I got an email from my stylist Danielle a day or so later on the 25th of February. Her email was very friendly and personalised and she asked for a few more details from me like my celebrity style crush and if I had a Pinterest style board. She mentioned that she would put my five pieces together over the next couple of days, but I didn't get my parcel shipped until the 12th of March. Granted, I had some payment issues which delayed it because we don't keep that much money in the account connected to our debit card. We only transfer money onto there as we need it. So when they went to charge for the styling fee and then to hold the price for the items, it was declined. Am I the only one to do this? I feel like it's annoying to just charge whenever you want without warning and expect that it'd be the right amount of money in there. I transferred the money onto there when I selected make an order, but then they didn't charge it for a couple of days and by that point the money had been spent elsewhere. When I got notified that the items had been chosen for me, I couldn't help myself. I was so excited that I went onto the website into the review my order tab to see what they had picked. Not going to lie, I was disappointed. I don't want to ruin the reveal of the items, but none of them stood out to me as particularly exciting or my style. And one of the items I thought was straight up no. <laughs> I know I did say I wanted to be pushed out of my comfort zone and I'm going to reserve judgement on them until I actually try them on. But I don't particularly have high hopes going into this, so fair warning. So, I got my parcel in the mail. It came really quickly. They said they were sending it on the Friday and I got it on the Monday. So, shipping was really fast when they did eventually ship it. This is the box I got. As you know, I did have the peak online so I kind of know what I'm getting but I haven't seen anything in person yet. And I'm reserving judgement until I see it in person and until I try it on. Look inside the box. Here are the shoes that I immediately thought were incredibly ugly. <laughs> um, I mean, I still don't like the look of them. There was a time when I was a teenager and I had like the Birkenstock type sandals with like the crossbar and that's like the same kind of sole, but now I just, I don't like this kind of sole. It just looks so clunky and frumpy in my opinion. They look good quality. It doesn't say a size on it, which is interesting. Oh wait, the size is on here. Size 7. Oh, I got a note too. A little thank you. It says, Hi Amy, as the season starts to change, we hope these styles bring you joy. Enjoy, Danielle. Okay, so she's put a whole lot of reasoning as to why she's picked all these things as well. 
Thank you for letting us style you. Below is a little about the products we have sent you. We hope you like them as much as we do. So, the Airy Crossover Leather Footbed Sandals in Cream Leather. That's what I just showed you. She says, these leather crossover sandals are the perfect sandal to wear with your Sylvie midi dress or match back with your loop blouse and linen short. Made from leather with a comfortable molded footbed, they will be comfortable to wear. They are a sophisticated staple piece that you'll be able to wear for many years to come. I don't know how sophisticated they look in my mind, but they definitely look comfortable. But the fact that they look comfortable doesn't really say anything for the style to me. So I also got the Atmos and Hia Sylvie midi dress in Animal. She says, refresh your smart casual wardrobe with the Sylvie midi dress. Made from a lightweight woven fabric with an elastic waistband and tie, I have put this in your parcel because it is fun and sophisticated and will look perfect with your new airy sandals. This is the mini dress. Okay, it's a different material than I thought it would be from the picture and I do quite like this material. It looks really comfy, really light and airy, which is really good for Australia. I don't know, I might actually like this on, I think. Like, I'm liking this more in person. Like, not that I disliked it with the picture online, but I was kind of like, meh. Whereas I think I will like this more on. Got it in a size 8, there's a clip button closure which is good because I'm always a little bit worried with like these wrap front style tops that it just looks too revealing <laughs> up there. It doesn't really seem like the greatest quality to me though, like there's so much threads hanging off the bottom. Yeah, and even here too there's like some threads sticking out. Like threads from the material frame, which is not a great durability sign. Like I feel like this material might be like something you have to iron as well, which is not the greatest. It's already like looking fairly creased, but it might be the kind of style that you can get away with a kind of creased look, but we will see when I try it on. Okay, so let's talk about this dress. It feels really nice on my skin. It feels so soft and I feel like it'd be really airy and breezy which would be perfect for Australian summer. And I like the print. I like the bottom half even. But the top half just kind of sits on me. I feel like it is made for someone with a bigger chest area than me basically. There's so much extra fabric around here and it does nothing for my figure. I dropped the little belt piece when I was opening it out, um, so it comes with a, a belt tie. I can see where they were going with it. Yeah, in theory, yes. In real life, I think it's probably a no from me. Now, the shoes. Uh, <laughs> When I saw the picture online of them, my immediate thought was, no, <laughs> how do they choose these shoes for me? And now that I have them on, I don't want to be too harsh, but I really, really, really don't like them. <laughs> they look like an orthopedic shoe, in my opinion. Like, you know, the shoes that look really comfy and that's never a good thing because it means they look awful. I mean, it is comfy. They are comfy shoes, but definitely not for me. And I'm not entirely sure that they really go that well with this dress either. I would not style them together. Even if I liked the shoes, I feel like the black sole is too strong for this dress. It overshadows it and it just makes your feet look heavy. <laughs> with such a light dress, you don't want to be so grounded by your shoes, in my opinion at least. So yeah, both these pieces probably going to be returned. The next piece is the MNG Luke Blouse in Natural White. This Luke Blouse is a comfortable and elegant piece, perfect for casual days. It will be ideal to add to your wardrobe for a feminine and sophisticated look. Wear it with your favourite pair of jeans and airy sandals or try it with your new linen lounge shorts for an easy breezy look. I must say I do like that all of these pieces go together in themselves as like a little mini capsule wardrobe. This is the Luke blouse. Ooh, I actually like this more in person as well. 
it's like still that really linen, light and airy fabric, which I really like. And it's actually textured, like the pattern on it is textured. Um, and it's like a bit of a peplum, puffy sleeves. And I actually, I actually quite like this in person. <laughs> so, I mean, I'm happy. I'm happy that I like these more than I thought I would. I'm pleasantly surprised by that one. <laughs> we have the airy linen lounge shorts in stormy blue. The perfect summer short, these linen lounge shorts are the ultimate fusion of comfort and style. Made from breathable linen in the perfect stormy blue, these linen lounge shorts will be your go-to piece for a relaxed look. Wear them with your loop blouse and airy sandals. And these are the linen shorts. Oh goodness. I feel like that's quite a lot of fabric there. <laughs> So yeah, I wasn't too impressed with the look of these on the website. I still think these are going to look very mum short in like a <laughs> kind of a daggy way. But we'll see what they look like on. They also look like they are going to wrinkle easily and need ironing. I did ask for shorts that were not too short, but not as long as my knee. So I wanted something in between because I'm like constantly bending over to pick up an air of me and I just I needed to be practical about my shorts But I don't like them too short So this was their solution to that request. They have pockets If that's any consolation to anyone and an elastic waist not the biggest fan, but we'll see what it looks like on also I find it funny that she's gone with like a very blue sort of capsule wardrobe I don't know that I would have picked blue as like my main colour. Like I know it's kind of like a denim kind of blue so you could kind of maybe put anything with it but I don't really have a lot of blue in my wardrobe apart from denim. Okay so the shorts. <laughs> they are so unflattering on me. Yes they are the right length I was after. Not too long, not too short. But, oh my goodness, I I know I'm a mum of a two year old, but I've never felt like a mum until now. Now, I am a mom. <laughs> like, but it's just, it's not my style. It's frumpy and kind of old fashioned. And yes, the linen material is kind of material I like and that's in right now, but just the way that it sits on me is a no. <laughs> And the top. Okay, the top in theory I liked. I thought it was kind of cute, but now that I've got it on, the place where it um, gathers and ruffles out, it's a really weird place on my body. It sh I feel like it should be under my bust, but no, it's kind of cutting the bust off. And that coupled with the sleeves, it just, it looks really boxy. While the detailing is cute, I don't think I'll be keeping this one either. It is also rather see-through. And yeah, this outfit together, I definitely look like a mum. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't mean to offend anyone when I say that, but that's just my stereotypical, um, I didn't have time to think about what I'm wearing. I just threw on some nice comfy things that I can get down on the ground with my toddler in and walked out the door. That's kind of what this outfit says to me. <laughs> And the fact that this is new and styled, like, I don't want it to say that. That's not what I want to put, the message that I want to put out into the world. And one note on the shoes, I've only been wearing them for a little while now, and even though I said they were comfy, like, like they look like comfy shoes, I actually think that one of the buckles on the side of my toe is actually starting to dig into the side of my foot. So, turns out, not that comfy. So, I don't really know what they have going for them. <laughs> I gave them so much information on my style. They had all my social media accounts. I post photos of my full outfits on Instagram regularly. They have my YouTube videos where I, I have a lot of my outfits that I wear on display regularly. This look was nowhere on any of my social media accounts. I don't really understand how they got to this. The next piece she talks about is the Bell and Bloom Feel For You V-neck top in black. The Feel For You V-neck top is the perfect way to upgrade your blouse collection. The adjustable straps and flattering cut make this the ideal top to match back with almost anything. 
It is stylish and elegant and you'll be able to wear it tucked into your linen lounge shorts or try it with your favourite jeans and some black pumps. A basic black top really, um, it just is slightly more interesting because it's got the ties on the shoulders which I guess makes it adjustable and it just makes it a little bit more interesting. I like that it's a v-neck, v-necks are often more flattering on me. The material feels like good quality, quite heavy. I don't. Uh, I still think it would be quite breathable. Like I can still kind of see through it though, but I don't think it'll be through see through. I don't really have an issue with this one. I just thought it was a little bit boring and a bit safe. And I did mention in my notes specifically that I didn't want any boring basics. And I kind of consider this a basic, although it's slightly more interesting because it has the tie detail on the shoulders. So I will give them that, but I feel like it's a safe bet. Alright, so we've ended on a slightly better note. I do actually like this top. I think it's flattering and it's more my style. I had a little bit of trouble doing the sleeves up. It's hard to get them even and then if one side is slightly longer it does like a weird baby thing here. But the v-neck is really complimentary. It's not so massively baggy on me that I don't have any shape. It's a little bit more dressed up. It doesn't necessarily look like it's comfortable, but it is comfortable enough. Like there's nothing wrong with it. I just don't want it to look comfortable. And it actually makes the shorts look better. <laughs> I didn't think it was possible, but with this top, the shorts look a smidge better. Uh, I still don't like the shorts. I still won't be keeping them, but that just goes to show what a good top does. <laughs> it elevates the entire outfit. Will I be keeping this top though? Oh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure it costs $89, which is a little bit steep for what the top is. Like, yes, it's complimentary, but it's essentially just a black singlet. It's, it's a basic. Would I pay $89 for a basic? I mean, I suppose you should invest in your basics because those are the things that you keep in your wardrobe forever, unlike the trends that go in and out of style. But do I want to spend $89 on it? I don't know, I mean, they got one out of five pieces right. <laughs> I don't know that that's a great uh, ratio, <laughs> but there it is. So that's my order. The shorts and the dress, I perhaps could have gone down a size in them and they would have been a bit more flattering. I ended up keeping the black tie singlet top, mainly because I got some deodorant on it and I wasn't sure if I could send it back anymore. At least it was the piece that I actually liked. I wore it to work the next day and I must say doing those ties up by myself is rather tricky. It also makes for some bulky shoulders when you wear it under any kind of outerwear. I think it's one of those pieces that is better to wear as a standalone. I sent all the rest back in the return parcel which was super easy. I do want to comment though that the address label sticker was stapled to all the other pieces of paper. So when I was removing it, I had to do it super carefully so as not to rip the address altogether. Not the most well thought out thing to do, stapling it there. I went onto the website and specified what I was keeping and returning with feedback for each section. After that, I received this email from Danielle, my stylist. It says that the parcels get better the more you do them and the more they get to know your style. I may try another one again in the future, we'll see. What did you think of my clothes? I hope I wasn't too harsh. I also don't want to offend anyone who likes the pieces that I don't like. Just because I don't find a piece attractive or flattering doesn't mean it won't be the perfect piece for someone else. And I can appreciate a piece on someone else without liking it for me. I also know how hard it is to style someone online without ever getting to meet them or see their existing wardrobe. Danielle had the right idea with the dress and white blouse. Some things work in theory but then still don't work in practice, if that makes sense. That's why it's so important to try things on. I feel like it's a difficult mix between showing my honest initial feelings of the pieces for myself and being encouraging, understanding, positive and open to trying new things, which is what I'm wanting to do. That is the main reason why I like these types of services because I want to try things that I wouldn't pick for myself. I find it really interesting to see what other people would put me in. At the same time though, I still kind of want to like the pieces at least somewhat. <laughs> Will you try out Predicated? If you've tried a box like this, let me know how it went in the comments below. I'm hoping that for my next video we'll be in our new house with some way more interesting backdrops than 
of this white wall. Keep your eyes peeled for that. But for now, see you later.